Hey, what's going on everyone? MacBoy here from MacBoy Productions and today I'm going to do a very small overview. I'm going to show you a very small tutorial on the application called OmniGraph. Well, I'm sure all of you have heard of it and in my opinion, I believe it is one of the best concept map making, mind mapping, no mind known making, whatever you want to call it, applications on the Mac. Again, this is OmniGraph. Well, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's open this up. And uh, right here in OmniGraph Pro, by the way, you see a template chooser as soon as you launch it. And over here to the right, left, you see some subsections which you can choose your template from. So drawing, you can choose just a blank uh, template. Then there's brainstorming, organizational charts, space planning. I'm gonna go to brainstorming and let's select a this chalkboard right here to brainstorm something uh, unique. So let's click on new diagram. And as soon as you open it, this is what you see. A blank screen and that's what you see in most applications so uh, let me go ahead and change the view here to show you a little better it's just a, a chalky background which you can add elements to it of course so uh, this is what it comes up with you can of course resize the canvas however you want it which has a window however you want it to your preference um, I'm, I think I'm gonna like it like that and what you get mainly in here is uh, a window for stencils and a window for your inspector which is right here. Stencils we'll get into a little bit after, but here let me talk about the main window and its tools on the toolbar. At the top, you have a list of canvases where you can show your canvases um, or not show your canvases. So right now what I'm looking at over here is one canvas and you can add new, more canvases by clicking the plus button or add a new page to the canvas by clicking uh, this plus button over here. It also stands for a new layer in the canvas, something like Photoshop. All right, so Let's say you want to create a small oval in the middle or a small arrow in the middle. Let's, let's create a small oval. Over here in the toolbars, you can select your mouse or you have some shape drawing tools. When you hold, when you click and hold on it, you get a list of options we can choose from. So I'm going to click on circle for now. You have also rectangle, uh, another rectangle, which is your favorite styles and squash rectangle. And you know, after it says the name of the shape, it gives you some information about that. So it's a metadata, like the fill, the stroke, and the shadow of it. Let's click the circle. And once you click the circle, a little crosshair comes up as your mouse. And when you click hold and drag in your canvas, this is what you get, an oval or circle. If you want to make it a perfect circle, make sure you hold shift when you're dragging from left to right. There you go, let go. And once you do let go, your mouse goes back to the normal cursor um, in OmniGraph Pro. So once you have the normal mouse, you can, of course, move it around wherever you want it. And you do have snap to grid selected, so it will snap when it's in the center. And if you double click on it, you have an option to type a title. So let's type in uh, Mac Boy Productions. <clears throat> and if you want to make it longer or bigger or change the font, you have this fonts window right here to increase it for you. And I'm going to keep it about there. And I'm going to change the font to Times. Oops. Type that in. Times New Roman. All right. And there we have it. Make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and deselect. And you have a title right there. Now, of course, if you want to go a little bit more detail to your shape, you have the inspector right here for you. So you have um, options for fill. You have lines and shapes, shadow, image, and then text. So let's go to fill and fill this with a nice radial blend so as you can see from the middle it's coming out to from white to gray, gray background so and you can change it right here so instead of white let's make it green all right and the outer color let's make it a red oh that looks disgusting never mind let's make it a aqua or turquoise color and there you have it you can also change the center point to whatever you prefer and you know what this program you can play with it you can customize it to whatever extent your mind can imagine. You know, I'm not going to go through all of these things with you, but this is essentially how to make a mind map in OmniGraphle. Now, this is, I've showed you the toolbar, and I've showed you, oops, I just clicked on the play button. Uh, I've showed you the toolbar, I've showed you the inspector. Let me show you the stencils tab. Now, here is where you can find different elements or objects you can that you can drag into your canvas. So, uh, what OmniGraphle comes with is common elements like connectors, uh, fills, fonts, uh, and a few more. It comes with a bunch of maps that you can use to put in there. Very nice. Um, and organizational charts, some science elements, software elements, and space planning. So let's go to common 
and uh, find a connector. Now here's where you can drag a bunch of arrows from there. Let's drag this nice thunder strike or thunder stroke, whatever you want to call it, and uh, change the point of it. There you have it. Now you're like, okay, what if I want to change the color? Of course, everything you can change in the inspector. I'm not going to do that right now, but this is how to do it. If you want to rotate it, it's all can be done in the inspector, all right? And there you have it. Now let's all right, guys, I don't want to take too much of your time, but this is essentially a small overview, a small tutorial of OmniGraphle Pro. In my opinion, one of the best mind-making, concept map-making applications on the Mac. You, your mind can really go wild with this application. It's another application like Photoshop, but a more simple application compared to Photoshop. Other than that, thanks a lot for watching, guys. This has been MacBoy for MacBoy Productions. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe on these videos and channel. And guys, over there to the right, you'll find the link to OmniGraphle Pro's website and, of course, other applications made by that company. You'll find the link to my Twitter, my blog, and my business email where you can contact me for any questions, concerns, comments, or suggestions. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see every single one of you next time right here on MacBoy Productions.